Mercer. Thank you, Chris, for your testimony. So basically, this is what this page here is what. And when General Abbott came out last June, uh, the Attorney General telling how Common Core was not allowed in, in, in this state, they teach the what. But the process standards now say it's not the what. It's And, that's, and the TEAT specifically do call for, for the how. Uh, when adding, adding phrases like process standards, specifically calling out things like using arrays, using matrices, using these different uh, methods, that is defining the how. I'm just really concerned. I know in, the, in November when I brought this up, I thought it was too strong in our top 10 things. I was very clear that the law, which is a great law, the legislature passed last time about common core, but it has state standards versus common core methodology. So yes, it's true, we don't have common core state standards, but that's a distinction without a difference if we have common core methodology written into the teams. Yes. It's been rebranded. Okay. One last question, so people understand listening about common core, don't get it. Uh, let me ask the whole question, you know the answer, but uh, who was the representative in the U.S. House who carried a common core bill? Who was the U.S. Senator who sponsored the common core bill? When, when the hearings were held at the House and the Senate for Common Core, what side signed them for, against, for it and against it? And when they have public hearings, what the parents say? And the answer is, it never happened. There never was a Common Core bill, a Common Core legislation in the U.S. House or Senate for all Americans paid. I agree. I think the same thing happened here with the Teats, and that's why a hearing would be very helpful, so you can hear from the people who wrote those Teats and have them stand up and proudly say why they changed them to be more aligned with Common Core. Mr. Remy, can I ask a question? Where could you um, direct us to the data on, it says that the TEATs were written so that out of 192, 172 directly correlate. What what study was that? Or do you have a link to the study? Or I can provide that. I didn't have very much time this morning, so I tried to Okay, if you could get the, maybe the email of, of staff um, and let them know. I'd like to take a look at who did the, the comparison. And, yes, ma'am. Yeah, thank you. Okay, other discussion or questions? Uh, can, since I'm a, a new board member, uh, can someone explain to me how uh, what the process was for these to be approved? Because my assumption is that these TEKS have been reviewed by uh, extensive professionals, um, and that the reason that the TEKS have taken on this additional, uh, what I do consider to be rigor, uh, has been tested already. Um, so I'm just curious to understand the process more clearly. That's a long answer. I know that the letter on the table in the boardroom that another member wrote explains that, and I've written one myself. I can email you with the background, but Ms. Martinez, do you think you could give one minute? Yeah, just, well, I think very briefly what I would say is that, and we still have posted on the TEA website, um, a page that documents the entire process. So it includes a list of all the individuals who are involved on the committees, all of the experts, all of the drafts that were posted throughout the process for all uh, members of the public to provide input and feedback during the informal uh, feedback period, the official public comment period, um, and I'll get you that link. But it's all still on the TEA website. It was um, a very public and transparent process. Great. Well, I would just like to remind uh, the members of the board and uh, our speaker that this process has gone through uh, you know, rigorous review. Um, and I think that our, our kids across the state of Texas really do deserve to understand math uh, in a way that uh, is pushing them. And, I think that if it takes a little bit of time for them to, for teachers to understand, or even students to understand, that we will get there. Um, and I think that uh, <clears throat> our position on the board isn't to debate uh, Common Core because that's not our responsibility, and we do live in a state that hasn't officially adopted one. Of those. We certainly can't debate it today because it's not posted. <laughs> so that is a good point. But all right, for today. Any other questions for our testifier? Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you. you.